we have an item here that was used uh, primarily by officers, and it was called a bedroll. Um, on the outside of it, it had a very heavy canvas piece here. And as you can see, when you opened it up, it was made to go over your cot. Where the Lester personnel had the haversack to put their things into it, this is what your officers uh, could put their items into it. So for example, you would have your socks, your underwear, your t-shirts, extra sets of uniforms, everything you need to shave, uh, anything you could think of, basically. All, like I said, all those items. What was very distinctive about this is that at the end of the, of the cot was that there were a series of pockets. So for example, on this end, I have it buckled up right now but there was one very large pocket. So obviously, mostly probably clothing and items like that, you could place and store in there and it has a series of buckles. At the other end of the cot was also a series of pockets. There were three of them here. So you could organize items a little bit better. One of the nice features about this that I like is that this flap here once again, it has three straps. You can put your uniforms and items in there, you know, fold it up. But essentially what you had here was a top sheet when you sleep. So what you could have done is you could have put your wool blanket down, then put the second blanket on top of that, and then you could climb underneath this and you had essentially your top sheet. I like camping. I probably picked this thing up, I don't know, probably 20 years ago. And I would actually take this with me camping. Now, I didn't take my 1944 cot. I used a different cot. But my point is that it was so handy to have, just as it was designed almost 75 years ago, that uh, for a period of about five years, when I used to go camping, up in the mountains of North Carolina in the fall, um, I would bring this with my tent. Now, it wasn't a World War II tent, I'd like some creature coverage, so there we go, officer's bedroll.